Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today the topic of our discussion is how is peptide bond formed and what are the characteristics of peptide bond in detail. Starting with the peptide bond formation. Peptide bond is a bond that connects amino acids. Amino acids are the constituents of protein. Let's start with amino acid. An amino acid is having a central carbon, then an amino group, NH2 group and a carboxyl group, COH group. Then there is a hydrogen atom. Then there is R group. R group differ in different amino acid. So let's take the simplest amino acid that is glycine where the R group is hydrogen atom. Now we have the first amino acid. So the second amino acid is also, let's take it as glycine. So let's see how this bond is formed. Now a water molecule is removed H2O. Therefore the synthesis is called as dehydration synthesis or condensation reaction where the bond is formed with the release of a water molecule. So this is a peptide bond C double bond O NH. This is a peptide bond. So peptide bond is a bond that is formed between two amino acids that is between the carboxyl group of the first amino acid and amino group of the second amino acid with the release of water molecule. Now let us see the characteristics of peptide bond. Peptide bond is also called as amide bond. It is a covalent bond that connects two amino acids. It is formed by dehydration synthesis or with the elimination of water molecule. It is having a partial double bond character as this bond length is shorter than single bond. That is why it is showing a partial double bond character. It is rigid and planar. That means rotation around this bond is restricted. But as you all know, proteins are highly complex three-dimensional structures. So rotation is possible in these regions. Rotation is restricted only in the peptide bond region. And this bond is in the trans configuration. That means this C double bond O and NH, they are not in the same plane. One is below and another is above. The advantage of having this trans configuration is the side groups may be sometimes bulky like tryptophan, proline, etc. Trans configuration will reduce the steric hindrances of adjacent amino acid side chains. Now this is uncharged. This bond is uncharged. The only the charged regions are the side groups. Sometimes the amino acid may be basic like lysine, arginine having positive charge, or sometimes like acidic glutamic acid, aspartic acid, etc. And all this is based on the side chain, the property of the side chain. And these, of course, these regions are also charged the amino terminal and the carboxyl terminal. The next point is peptide bond is polar forming hydrogen bond. In peptide bond this this NH there is a slight positive charge in this hydrogen atom NH and there is a slight negative charge for this oxygen. That is one of the reason for the secondary structures in protein that is alpha helices and beta sheets. You can see this NHCO bond. This is the hydrogen bond between the hydrogen and the oxygen that connects far region, farther regions of a protein, polypeptide. And in beta sheets, these are two linear structures that is connected by hydrogen bond. So different regions in a polypeptide is connected by hydrogen bond. And that's it. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.